My fondest memory is meal time in our house where we all sat down and dad gave thanks and blessed the food and it was usually a big pot of soup freshly made from our garden. My name is Dorothy Craigie. My maiden name was Dorothy Clatt. I was born in 1936 and I lived with my big family in Biconia, Manitoba. We had a small farm where we had a cow and a pig and chickens and horses because horses was our way of travel. We planted gardens. We had big gardens. The vegetables from the garden in the summertime, we would get up early in the morning and us kids used to help my dad and mom gather the vegetables and, and wrap them and wash them. And then we would go by horses to Grand Beach to sell for money for things that we need. And, and we needed lots. There was lots in the family. There was nine of us in my family. We'd plow up some land to grow grain for the animals. And my job was to help mom in the, in the house, make sure the dishes were done and scrub the wood floors and iron clothes. Everything was ironed right down to the dish cloths. With so many children, my mom, well, she, did, she worked hard having all these children, and most of them were born at home. It was a long ways to the hospital just to have a baby. <laughs> you washed the clothes on a board, hung them out on the line. In the winter time, you know, you'd hang them outside and you'd see mom bringing in the underwear stiff as a board. The way the families lived, whoever had any kind of a place to have a cow or in, and that, and for mixed farming, yes, was the only way to live besides cutting wood. There was no industry of any kind except for fishing. But the farming, at least you always had food. And that was good, nourishing food. We made our own butter and our own of everything. In the sheep, I remember the people had spinning wheels and they spun their wool and knitted their socks and mitts. I know my mother certainly knitted a lot of things and uh, I learned from her how to knit. I still knit to this day. This is from an old sheep. <laughs> and then tragedy would strike too. I remember our chicken house burning down and all our chickens burned. To keep them warm, we'd have to have some heat in the chicken house. So I guess the fire got out of hand one day and uh, the chicken house caught on fire and I can still see my mother breaking the windows for trying to get the chickens out through this window, but they all burned. So we had many roasted chicken, <laughs> if you can call it that. <laughs> Everybody worked off of the land. I, I know my family, we used to, uh, pick wild berries and, and can them and, and we'd pick all the wild nuts. We had nuts at Christmas time from the wild. Sealers and sealers, jars and jars of strawberries and blueberries and cranberries and Saskatoons. And, and I remember my mother canning all this stuff we'd have up to maybe 300 jars of, of food. And that was the only way to put food on your table was to grow it yourself. There was a few families in, in town that did not have gardens and they had a big family. And so my dad always said, you're welcome to come to the garden and pick all, all what you need. And my dad was very, 
very generous in that respect for making sure that everybody was welcome at his garden.